hire them here. Yesterday I did a video on this refill of the sterno can where I put perlite in it. Perlite's a, uh, a rock that's been fractured, I guess. You can buy this at garden centers. It's just a, uh, just a rock, I guess, that's been pulverized. Uh, I had it suggested that maybe do this test with toilet paper in it. That kind of uh, heater that people do where they put a, a roll of toilet paper and a coffee can and then pour alcohol in it. I think this is much better because the rock won't burn like the paper will at the end. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> I did this yesterday and I noticed that it was a nice flame coming out of the can with the alcohol. And that maybe the can just has to be lifted up a bit to see if it would be like an optimum distance or something. So that's what I'm going to try today. I've elevated the can about an inch with these casino coins that I have from old casinos. They come in handy for this kind of stuff. So that's lifted it up about a half inch. So it's about one inch now from the pot, from the bottom of the pot to the top of the burner. So let's light this. For some reason, this can gives a nice flame, much better than it did with the sterno in it. Of course, putting the heat intensifier on it makes it go even better, but then there's a height problem. See how it sucks the air in through the sides and then lets the flame come up nice and tall. But what I want to try today is just the can, just the way it is, elevated. So I have two cups of water here, setting at 60 degrees. Let's put that on the stand. Start the timer. And let's see where this goes. Here you can see that the flame is much shorter than it was on the test yesterday. This is without the heat intensifier. But... The flames go up and then curve out on the bottom of the pot, so hopefully this will give me a better time. Okay, there we have 210, 211, come on, 212 at 1020, 10 minutes, 20 seconds. Hmm, that's interesting. Don't know what to make of that. Let me take this off. Okay, the test that I did yesterday uh, in this state without the washers, or without the dollars to lift it up, the distance between the top of the can to the bottom of the pot was about an inch and a half, and it brought two cups of water to a boil in 10 minutes and 16 seconds. I lifted this up about a half of an inch, so that made the distance between the top to the bottom about one inch. And it actually came out at about the same time, within four seconds. This one was 10.20, the other one was 10.16. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Really thought it would come out a little bit quicker. One inch usually seems to be about the magic height for uh, like a sweet spot on this stuff. So, maybe that's only about as quick as it'll get is 10 minutes. Not a fast time, but I mean, it's a cheap stove. It's an easy stove to make. Burner, rather. So, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input on this, your remarks, your helpful suggestions. And as always, watch from my buddy Max. Bye now. 
been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin